Suppose I'll start with, the, with, the, with Iraq, um, which was best described by, has best been captured by under its old regime form, a brilliant author, an Iraqi English, half Iraqi, half English author called uh, Kanan Makia, who had to write for a long time under a protective pseudonym of Samir Al Khalil and wrote a, a, a tremendous book called The Republic of Fear, which is the best uh, forward description that one could have of the regime of, of Saddam Hussein. If you can get hold of it, and you can, if you go back to look at the uh, program that Kanan Makia and Hodding Carter once did for uh, public broadcasting, you can actually get to see one of the most chilling, annihilatingly chilling, actually, videos ever made in the 20th century. It shows the moment at which Saddam Hussein, the actual moment at which Saddam Hussein uh, seized power in Iraq for himself. Um, we don't have that moment in uh, Germany. We don't have that moment in Russia. We don't know the, we know what happened after the Kirov assassination in, in Leningrad and the opportunity it gave to Stalin to seize supreme power. We know roughly what happened in the night of the Long Knives when Adolf Hitler realized that he could massacre every rival of his, in, not just in German politics, but within his own party, which is always the crucial thing. But with, with Iraq, we do have the actual moment, and you see it. The, the, the central committee of the Ba'ath Party, perhaps 100 people, are sitting in a very formal array in a conference room. And Saddam Hussein is chairing them from a podium, smoking a large cigar. And suddenly, without warning to anyone, in is dragged between two guards and in chains a, a broken man, a man who is obviously physically and mentally uh, been utterly uh, destroyed. His personality has been evacuated. And uh, prodded a bit, he stumbles through a confession uh, that implicates himself and others um, in a plot to destroy the Iraqi Republic, to remove the regime of the Ba'ath Party, and to um, uh, ruin the Iraqi revolution, the, uh, the counter-revolution, in other words. He says the, the regime behind it is the Syrian regime. It could have been anybody. It could have been international Zionism. It could have been anything you like, but he actually implicates, in this case, the Syrian, the Syrian Ba'ath Party rivals. Having confessed for himself and having begged to be executed for his crimes, having been reduced to a state of complete abjection, the man then says, the following members of this central committee were with me in this plot, and he begins to read out their names, slowly. <clears throat> and as this happens, you can see it, the uh, guards move every time a name is mentioned and they, they grab the member of the central committee and lead him out of the door. And after about a dozen of these, the, there's panic. Uh, sheer animal panic starts to spread among those who haven't yet been named. And in the, in the hope that they're not going to be, they start screaming and jumping up and saying, glory to Saddam Hussein, our leader, all praise to him, uh, the sun, the moon, the stars of Iraq, um, praying that it won't be them who are called next. Nothing Nothing makes any difference. The, the harvest just goes on randomly. They're taken off the chessboard and taken out until half of them are gone. And the rest are just limp and done for and, and almost dying with relief that it wasn't them. Uh, it's the most extraordinary uh, live show of a, of a real for keeps political purge that you'll ever see. And then there's the second half. Uh, which has been seen by much fewer people and was not shown on PBS, uh, where the surviving half are told to go out in the yard and are given guns and are told to shoot the convicted half. Now they're in the plot. Now, they're, now they are cemented to the leadership. Now, Kanan McKeer in his book says correctly, he says, Hitler wouldn't have thought of that. <laughs> Stalin didn't even think of that, and he thought about these things a lot about how to get mem one member of the Central Committee to betray another member and keep them all guessing so that you're the ultimate beneficiary. But, but this is that added little touch of sadomasochistic genius. This is the adding of the godfather and the soprano 